this tissue is thick skin and uh, this is the deepest layer here. This is the hypodermis composed of much adipose and a loose connective tissue. And then uh, this is the uh, dermis composed of dense irregular connective tissue. And from here to here is the epidermis. And if we look at the epidermis uh, at a higher power and uh, we can distinguish the layers, there is a, a thick keratin layer which is essentially composed of dead cells and the protein keratin. Then this layer the, uh, and this would be the stratum uh, corneum, and then the thin light layer, stratum lucidum, and then the layer where the cells have uh, keratin granules as they prepare the a protein for the uh, stratum corneum, the stratum granulosum, and then beneath the stratum granulosum the stratum spinosum, and then down near the uh, basement membrane here uh, is the stratum basale or stratum germinativum. And if we look in the stratum basale or stratum germinativum, we can see a clear cell, which again is either a melanocyte or uh, for producing melanin or Merkel cell as a mechanoreceptor for nerve reception. If we go back to a lower power and scan the dermis, we should see uh, sweat glands. There's no hair and no oil glands, but there we should find uh, sweat glands, and this looks like a sweat gland complex. If we look at it on higher power, we see the cube oil cell clusters forming the uh, glands and here are the glands here and uh, these are sweat glands and then the darker colored duct and this would be a duct uh, conveying the sweat uh, to the surface of the thick skin.